Many of us have questions about the recycling services in this region and when they are likely to change. And with the rising importance of us using less plastic, fossil fuels and raw materials to safeguard our future on this planet, reducing our impact on the environment is something that we all must engage in. We are going to provide you with up-to-date information about council services, interview local organisations and show you examples of local people making an active positive change to reduce, reuse, re-love and recycle. Recycling can feel like a complicated business, especially at the moment because in most of Dumfries and Galloway we don't have curbside recycling. The only place that does is Wigtownshire and they've actually been running a trial. The council are looking to roll these services out to the rest of the region. The Eco Deco plant was uh, opened, commissioned and opened by Princess Alexander in 2007. It was predominantly built to divert uh, waste from landfill. My name is Robert Callan, I'm the MBT plant manager. Uh, we're part of the Pretty Galway Waste Services. Uh, my role uh, here is management and maintenance of the plant and providing continued service and quality uh, to the public. Currently in Dumfries, all waste is collected in one bin. This all goes to the Echo Deco plant. Firstly, the waste is shredded, uh, it then gets passed across to the drying hall where we extract 30% of the moisture. Um, the waste then gets further processed through into the refinement section of the facility where we, we extract the ferrous metals, the glass and stone uh, and the fines. The remainder of that waste then gets further processed where it goes through a further treatment where we end up with the solid recovery fuels. For the Wigton area, food waste, paper, card, cans, plastic and glass bottles are separated at the curbside and sent for recycling. Okay, so the, the new service that we're bringing in, obviously we had uh, a bit of a pilot scheme in, in Wigtown. My name's Councillor Archie Driver. I was the Chair for the Economy, Environment and Infrastructure Committee, um, which has just um, finished because we're in a new structure in, in the Council, but I will be Vice Chair of the Economy and Resources Committee, which will take some of the things we're going to be talking about today um, into its remit. So we want curbside recycling in Dumfries and Galloway. We've only had it in the one area, which was Wigtown. So we needed Anne and Dion Estale, Stuart Ray, and this deal to be part of that particular process. So houses will get three bins, uh, one for their general waste, or what they call the black sack um, bin, which will be collected on the first week and second week of the four week cycle. Cardboard and um, paper will be collected on the second week and cans and plastics will be collected on, on the fourth week. Uh, members of the public, we want to get involved in this because we're going to be holding some board events over the, the next few months to make sure that they understand what we're trying to do in Dumfries and Galloway, improve the recycling of, of um, material. So I think from, from our perspective, it's the start of a, a journey which we're going on. Um, we're even starting a journey with electrical waste um, vehicles as well. <clears throat> We've got enough funding for the next five years for two electrical waste vehicles, electric waste vehicles. They're going to be running in Dumfries and they're also going to be running in Castle Douglas and Kirkcubri. I think it's an exciting time for Dumfries and Galloway because we haven't been in charge of the waste collection service um, for the last um, 15 years. We've now got an opportunity, I think, to improve our recycling rate massively. And with the help of the public going to the ward events, with the help of the, the organisations that we're meeting with, such as the uh, you know, Friends of the Earth, the Eco Warriors, um, the, the Trust, you know, it's all we first trust in that, we can see our opportunities in expanding. Um, that will then go into the circular economy, I think, uh, and that, that will prove, I think, financially, I think it will prove quite a good thing for the council. It's great to hear that there are going to be new recycling services coming in soon. But in the meantime, we all need to do our best to reduce, reuse, re-love and recycle. Hello, I'm Nick Coombe and I work for Solway Firth Partnership as a coastal ranger. Solway Firth Partnership represents organisations right the way across the Solway Firth, so both on the English and Scottish side, and we're involved in everything from commercial fishing to strategic planning and nature conservation. We've been looking at the litter on the Dumfries and Galloway coast and particularly using, in working in partnership with an organization called Scrapbook, 
Uh, that stands for Scottish Coastal Rubbish Aerial Photography. And they've, we've had pilots who've been flying the whole of the Scottish coast, taking pictures of every coast with litter in. And that's been looked at and assessed as to how bad the different places are. The scrapbook project has enabled us to find those remote locations where all the plastic collects. And we decided that we should do a pilot project where we got, went out with volunteers, collected plastic from a hard to get place, and then find a reuse for it uh, and, and bring it back into the circular economy. We collected the rubbish and put it into three skips and two of those skips re returned to a company in Dumfries who was able to reuse all of those plastics in their product, Plaswood but we need to find other ways of reusing plastic that we gather from the beaches. And we need to also find solutions for getting to those really remote locations. The plastic on our coast is, comes from all sorts of places. Uh, we generally think that it's to do with the fishing industry, but actually all of us are responsible for the plastic that gets onto our beaches. And places like this river here is a source of much of the plastic. It washes down these rivers into the Irish Sea, is gathered by the Irish Sea, and then the southwesterly winds blow it up onto the Dumfries and Galloway shore. The pilot project was really just the beginning and we're hoping to do an awful lot more. Uh, we see this as a really positive thing and we want to get volunteers out on the coast, getting plastic from those hard to reach places and finding a reuse for them wherever possible. Solway Firth Partnerships trial project to clean up our coasts and reuse ocean plastic is using really innovative ideas to create new products from disposed of items. There are also other organisations in the region that are using recovered materials to create new products and giving up, give us more options for sustainable living. My name's Katie Barr. I'm originally from Dumfries and Galloway. Um, and I am one third of Zero Waste Space. Well, Vicky Litton and Esme Kirsch, um, who are mother and daughter uh, duo, thought of this idea and initiated it in January 2019. And they put a post on an environmental forum that I follow and I, it really um, stood out to me and I immediately contacted them to ask if I could be involved because I was wanting to set up something very, very similar. So we saw that we had the, the same vision and passion and we decided to collaborate. Zero Waste Space is in the process of becoming a community interest company, um, which is a social enterprise. Um, and we want to promote sustainable living, living as close to zero waste as possible. And zero waste is a bit of a, a buzz expression at the moment. And basically it means how can you reduce your negative uh, impact on, on uh, the planet? How can you reduce your waste? Um, we want to, to create a space and an entity which promotes sustainable living through the um, sale of biodegradable, reusable, um, plastic-free items and through the promotion of, of how to live a sustainable lifestyle. So we hope to have a, a space in which um, we sell these items and also where we can have workshops and talks. We want it to be a hub of, of environmental activity. The products that we have available at the moment are things like um, reusable bags. So I've got some here. Um, this is one of um, our produce bags. And as you can see, we've got a little zero waste space um, label. These are made out of um, reclaimed linen. So it's saved from landfill, essentially. And so these are sewn principally by Vicky and Esme. I'm a, uh, a novice seamstress and I will make the bags um, soon, hopefully. And yep, they're completely biodegradable natural materials. And we have uh, cutlery sets. Um, which again are made out of um, reclaimed linen and also cotton. And then these um, are reusable cutlery um, items which you can take with you to have um, your lunch wherever you want. Um, so we've got, yeah, just like um, spoon, fork, knife, um, teaspoon, and then um, a metal straw and a straw cleaner. Another item that we have um, is the beeswax wraps, which we again, we make ourselves. Um, 
The material is cotton and um, the beeswax um, solution that we put over the top is beeswax, um, pine resin and sesame oil, which makes it antibacterial, naturally antibacterial and also very malleable. So you can put this around bread or bowls or fruit and vegetables. Um, and you just use a, a little bit of hot water to, to clean it after use. Essentially, they're a replacement to single use cling film. So that those are a few items. We also have various other sanitary items and toiletries, and we're hoping, hoping to, to broaden our product range um, as much as we can. In terms of um, online, we have quite a big um, social media presence. We put a lot of effort into, um, into talking to the public through social media. So you can find us on Facebook by just typing in Zero Waste Space. We have an Instagram account, uh, which is zero.waste.space. And if you go onto our Facebook page, there's a button which will take you straight to our Etsy page. Um, and if you are on Etsy itself, Again, just type in Zero Waste Space and it will take you to our Etsy page. Using a reusable bag is something that we can all do. By using this bag to take your recycling to the supermarket, you can then use it to collect your shopping in. And don't worry if you ever find yourself with a plastic bag. Tesco and Morrisons and Dumfries have got plastic bag recycling points at the front of their stores. Morrisons have also recently introduced paper fruit and vegetable bags, as well as paper bags at their tills to take your shopping home. Although we would always recommend taking a reusable bag with you. You can now fill your water bottle in Dumfries Town Centre in Queensbury Square. Instead of buying water every day in a plastic bottle, you can take a water bottle with you and refill it on the go. This water fountain is part of a Scottish water initiative to reduce waste across the whole of Scotland. There is also another initiative where shops and businesses offer to refill your bottle for free. Just look out for the sticker on their door. You can take a Tupperware box with you to collect your takeaway meal and take cutlery with you on the go so that you don't have to use single-use plastic cutlery. As well as reusing bottles and Tupperware, there are also many things around the house that you can reuse, relove and upcycle. Here, we see an example of plastic containers being repurposed into herb planters. For the small cost of a packet of seeds and a bag of soil, you can have your very own herb garden on your kitchen windowsill. These can also be painted or decorated to match your kitchen or as a fun craft activity to do with children. In Dumfries and all around the region, there are council-run recycling centres. In Dumfries, we have recycling centres at Jocks, Loaning and Lincluden and Locker Moss on the Lockerbie Road. You can find out information about what you can recycle on the Dumfries and Galloway Council website and at the centres, everything is well signposted and staff are willing to help. Everything that we've looked at in this video shows that there are many options for us to make sustainable choices to care for our environment across the region. With council services, large supermarkets, local projects and businesses and initiatives making positive changes, it has never been easier for us to reduce, reuse, relove and recycle. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Thank you very much for watching. If you want to find out more or if you'd like to show this video to your local organisation or community, then get in touch with us through our Facebook page, which is Dumfries Recycling Initiative.